This is the ink vent calendar. <laughs> when uh, Colt Pins reached out to me, I was like, what are you talking about at the same time? That sounds awesome. So Diamine is coming out with basically an inky advent calendar and behind every door is an ink sample and every ink sample is unique to the ink vent calendar so these are not inks that diamine currently has um let me see if they have the description on the back to where i can read it all right it says 25 bespoke fountain pen inks one a day for the winter countdown these beautiful new ink colors cannot be found anywhere else in Diamine's existing ranges. Created especially for the ink vent calendar, they're perfect for use with fountain pens, brushes, and nibs. So these are 25 brand new inks. So the one restriction, restriction I have is I cannot open the doors of these now. Um, they asked me not to go through the doors to access the inks, but I can still show you what a bunch of these inks are. I'm not going to sample them. What I think I'm going to do with this set is I'm going to send it to Susan who reviews, um, who reviews stuff for the pen addict and get her to do like a batch of five or seven inks a week for four weeks in a row, probably in October because these go on sale on October 1st. They're already taking pre-orders. There's not a lot of them. They're going to sell out of them. Everyone who gets these, who's a dime mine customer, it's going to be one of those things where no one's going to get enough and they'll be gone. So this should be on your radar if you're looking to have something like this. I don't even know the price point of this. Um, like I said, again, I need to say this again. I got this for free. This is not an ad. These are just my thoughts. Yeah. So a Talonet, that's exactly what I'm allowed to do. I can open it through the back. I'm going to pull out the inks and we'll at least look at the ink names. I'm not going to swab any of these. I can't show you any of these like on you know on paper yet but um cult pens is going to start swabbing them and then i'm going to get this to susan and we'll set up like a regular review schedule like for a month i'm just going to get her to review this set of inks um because i did sneak a peek at some of the uh some of the inks and they're pretty cool all right so yeah i'm not allowed uh I'm not allowed to go through the front so but they're like, but we're going to sample them and, and go through them all and see what they're all like. And uh, I just slid it out, out the, uh, the back and saw some of the names of these. And it's pretty cool. So I can't show you the whole layout. So you can't match the doors with it. But I can get out the inks individually, randomly. So you can't match it up here. I'm just trying to not make a mess on my desk here. All right. So let's see what we got. All right. <sighs> so this first one, mistletoe. So all of these have label colors that I'm assuming match the inside. So this is a nice dark green on there. Um, kind of hard to get out. Yeah, so you should check all of your pen retailers for this. Um, it's coming on um, October 1st, and I promise they will sell out. Just just by the way Cult Pins is talking to me, it was like a big deal for them to just send this to me. Um, yeah, good question, Jesse. Uh, let me see if they list it. So these are seven milliliter bottles. So it says on here, this one's Nutcracker. So that's going to be a brown, obviously. I'm trying to get it to where... I don't know, maybe you'll just have to trust me. It says Nutcracker on there. Mm. They're glass. Except the um, Day 25. Day 25, I guess I'll, I'll just have to spoil this one because it's the only one, or maybe I won't spoil it, but I will tell you Day 25 is in a 30 milliliter plastic bottle. I'm not going to expose Day 25's ink. Yeah, yeah, this was super nice of Cult Pens. But they're they're like stressing out. They're like, we're not going to have enough, and there's pre-orders. And so any pen re retailer you shop with and you want this, you need to see if they have a pre-order because they will go on sale October 1st, and they will be gone. Uh, 
Noel, and you, on this one, at the bottom it says Sheen. So they have some characteristics. Okay, so like I didn't see this on Mistletoe, it says Standard. And on Noel it says Sheen. And what did Nutcracker? Nutcracker said Standard. Um, Midnight Hour says Sheen on it. I'm really sorry I can't get these very clear for you, but you get the idea. So it's got the color on the label. Um, okay, so here's one that says Shimmer on it. This one's Snowstorm. And it looks like a gray Shimmer ink. I wonder if I took this out of here. Would it focus on these bottles better? So this looks like a... Uh, stormy thing shimmer shimmer ink sorry i'm just trying to see if i can get the focus correct for these what's this one Ooh, polar glow with sheen i mean i think you have me at polar glow sheening ink so diamine has created all of these ink colors for this set i'm gonna read them all so I I'm, promise I'm not trying to be mean by doing this. I just thought this was this was something that I was like, okay, how are they going to do this? And then like the execution and the fact that they're all new inks is kind of cool. Um, roasted Chestnut, standard ink. So it's a little bit of a more orangey brown than what, Nutcracker? Is that what we've had so far? Yeah, Nutcracker. A little more caramelly. Um... Seasons greeting, greetings is a sheen ink. So it looks like most of them are standard or sheeny, and then there's a couple of sparkle ink, shimmer inks mixed in. What's this one? Fire embers. That's a me ink right there, and that's a standard ink color. So that's pretty cool. Oh, here's another. Is this orange? Okay, so this is a shimmer ink. Let me shake this one up a little bit. This one's Gold Star. They've done a good job with the naming too. You can see the, the orange and gold in there. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> okay, this one's different. This one's called Winter Miracle and it's Shimmer and Sheen. So, and I guess that's, it looks like a dark blue, like a blue-black, but it almost looks purpley. Um, let me look at this. Yeah, it's purple. It definitely has some purple in it. I can't show you all the ink colors yet. That's just, like, they didn't flat out say not to show the specific colors, like the ink itself, but they kind of alluded to the fact that let's just hold off on that. But I'll be able to start reviewing them. I asked if I could actually review these before they dropped um, October 1st, or if we had to go through diet through October 1st forward. Even though it's a December event, um, what it's for, it's kind of like, well, if people want it and I can show them what it's like, we can do this now. Uh, gingerbread, standard ink. Looks pretty much like uh, roasted chestnut. Probably not too different there. Triple chocolate. I could get into that. Triple chocolate is a standard ink. Where am I at here? Festive cheer. What do we think? That's got to be a sheen ink, right? We're going to do festive cheer. We got to sheen, sheen that baby up. Looks like a, a dark blue sheen, uh, sheen ink. Ooh. Blue Peppermint Shimmer. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. This is like, I'm going to have a hard time sending this to Susan, but I know she will do a much better job at this setup than I would. As excited as I am about this, like I'm going to put it in the hands of the person that can do the best with it, and I know Susan will, will crush this review. No pressure, Susan. I know she's not listening. She doesn't know she's getting this yet, so y'all don't go tell her because she won't know what the hell you're talking about. So blue peppermint, I mean, those are nasty, right? Like these are not the peppermints that get picked for during Christmas time. It's it's red peppermints. Maybe green is a, like red peppermint, 75%. It 
green peppermint 20%, blue peppermint 5%. Is that kind of what, you know, am I thinking around along the, the right lines? So blue peppermint's a shimmer ink. Um, did I get all these? Where am I at? Oh, okay, this is cool. Maybe the blue ones are popular in the UK. We'll ask Mike. All right. This is the cool, I did not expect this one. Um, it's very simple. Elf. Green. Very smart. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I've seen the blue ones. Like, grandmothers have those. Like, they're not. Mm, that's a bad idea. So, yeah. Elf is the green one. Uh, what's this one? Purple Bow. Um, I think they just ran out of names on this one. Like, there's lots of bow colors for Christmas. Purple's not the bow that comes to mind first. I think it's like, well, we have a purple ink, and I'm looking. This looks like the only purple ink in the whole thing. So what else are we going to go with? Purple bow. Okay. Thank you, Diamine. I think you, uh, that's the one. I'm sure, it, and it's probably like the best color out of all this, right? Let's see. What, let me cheat and see if I can tell. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty deep purple. Like, it, it looks, it's going to be very cool, but yeah. Purple, purple bow. Oh, now we're talking, uh, die mine, mulled wine. So here's your, your burgundy, burgundy red ink. So that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, and those were mulberry wine was standard. Purple bow was standard. Elf was standard. Holly is a sheen ink. It looks like a weird kind of green. Yeah, they totally had to just like figure something out with that, with that purple one. That's probably why there's only one purple and it was really hard to, to get the name right on that. <clears throat> um, poinsettia. It's actually a little bit darker red than I thought, like at least by the label. Like I would have thought the label either poinsettia or maybe there's a pepper one. Well, I haven't gone through all these here. See if there's a brighter red one, but uh, poinsettia is looks like a deeper red. That's probably your oxblood type of ink. Oh, here's a more red one. And uh, poinsettia is a standard. Yeah, this one is. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> You have to say it like that, right? That's required by law. Uh, standard ink. So this is one of your red ones. And I think there's there's another red one. Yeah. Uh, candy cane. I guess this might be the brightest red. Yeah, purple for wise men. I get that. Then they might have done something besides purple bow. Candy cane. So there's your red. Your red red. How many more do we have here? A couple more. Um... Oh, this could be cool. Jack Frost, Shimmer and Sheen. You should email them, Tony. See what we can do. Jack Frost, Shimmer and Sheen. That could be something. I'm going to take a peek at this one. Sorry. Oh, here, I can show you this. That's the shimmer from laying down in the, in the thing. <laughs> Solstice. That's the black. That's the shimmer ink. Um, I think I got them all. I went kind of randomly um, on purpose because I'm not supposed to give up the doors. Even though you could switch around, I could just like totally switch around the doors right now, and they wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. But they asked me to not go through the doors. I'm gonna not go through the doors. So therefore, I'm not gonna show you the order that they chose to lay them out in. Um, because if you notice on the packaging it's not in order right so like one is right here you know they just kind of go all randomly so it's just kind of a, a swirly thing but let's see let me see if i can tell what one would match up to and like if it means anything like i don't know where there are specific reasons for specific days so something like that and then there's a 30 milliliter plastic bottle for the 25th day which i'm not going to show um just because that'll give it up and you know, we can we can hide some of the things. You know, we showed most of it here. So let me make sure I put this in correctly. Mm. Mm. 
So that's pretty cool. Like it's way cooler than I thought it would be. Like I just didn't know what to expect on for this. Like could a company do something like this, come up with this idea, make it completely fresh and make it interesting. And I think they did. Um, you know, that's not something I would, I would buy for myself, but like I could see just people like totally loving this, especially since all the colors are unique to this set. They, I don't think they didn't say like, okay, they wouldn't come out with these colors again, or maybe they just do them again next year for this event. But you know, I wonder if they'll come out with certain, uh, colors that become really popular when people start cracking these open, showing them off and they start to you know sell those colors individually who knows who knows what to do with that so yeah but uh i find it crazy interesting and i should probably tell susan i'm sending this and her she has four weeks in a row of reviews that are all going to be around this calendar so that'll be fun i just need to uh confirm the dates i'm allowed to share it which i probably have an email now about that so <clears throat> so yeah i uh 